because you will be more interested in this video than anything else because of not the story itself but the comments afterwards i hosted a family dinner over the weekend my brother brought over my nephews ages four and eight as well i used to wear my engagement ring all the time but lately i've kept it in my walk-in closet and mainly wear it for special occasions while I was cleaning up the dinner table, my nephews went to go play while the adults were still in the outdoor patio slash outdoor kitchen area. My brother was not supervising his kids. During this time, my nephews went into the master bedroom without anyone knowing and started playing with everything, including my engagement ring. When we came to look for them, they panicked because they know they aren't supposed to be upstairs, ran into the master bathroom, and flushed my ring. We called a plumber in case it was somehow in the U-trap of the toilet and not actually gone. But nope. Unfortunately, it's gone for good. We still had the original receipt, so I called my brother. I emailed him a scanned copy as proof of the cost, and I asked him to reimburse me for the ring my nephew flushed. Immediately, he started calling me a butthole because we're family and he's just a child. He's refused to repay the cost of my ring. I told him I'll be taking him to court for this, and now my entire family is blowing up my phone saying family shouldn't sue each other and I should just let it go. And then OP adds some context. No, the ring wasn't insured. My brother says that he doesn't have the money to repay, even $100 per month. He's also refused any kind of repayment plan. He said that I live in a nice enough house and if I want a replacement, I should just sell my car. My brother, to this day, has not truly apologized. It was a Canadian sorry. Sorry, not sorry. He said that kids will do what's normal for kids and they shouldn't be held responsible for a ring. My brother was supposed to supervise his kids outdoors with the rest of the family while I was busy cleaning up. And to be clear, I don't believe for a second that my brother and his wife can't pay for the cost of my engagement ring. They don't make anything near my husband, but they have a combined income of around $250,000. They don't pay rent or anything because my parents gifted them their old house valued at $3.5 million in Toronto, Ontario. There's no mortgage on the home my brother lives in. Now, so let me get to... This is real or not? Or no, just give me one more of these damn rich people problems videos. <laughs> the hell you be watching man i telling you i'm doing this for a reason um i did this for he feels a reason. like it apparently i guess tracy because it's just he one more on my nerves, falcon huh? crest video you flushed the ring okay okay oh, okay in a way we're rich but i didn't have the money to insure the ring but i live in a house and my husband makes more money than they make and they make two hundred thousand. No, the brother the brother and his wife, the brother make more than she do. No. Her no, he said I mean the, the poster said that her brother and his wife don't make as much as her husband does, but they make over two hundred thousand a year. That's so, a lot of money. Oh. Um, even, even in Canada. Yeah, even in Canada. Which is the numbers are bigger there, I guess, but still, but what got me was after all that, before you got there, you said you didn't even insure the ring. Okay, everybody stop. Everybody stop. Because I have a Rich point. folk problem. I had a point. Theo's hit on it twice. There were people in the comments that said that the OP was the a-hole. How? That's what. Because she didn't insure the ring. That'll it's make her a butthole. Bad make her kids. He need to control his bad behind the kids. But and I mean, they went in on her about she was the hey, why why would you have a thirty thousand dollar no insurance? That yeah, that don't make any sense. I mean, they went in on her specifically around the fact because they got bad kids too. Yeah. So I mean, it is dumb. To it's have that kind dumb. of money it and not have a dumb, but, dang, but that don't make you a bad person. That it just makes you made a dumb decision. You just was stupid. But him not watching his kids. You didn't lose your ring. Somebody else did. Yeah, the children, them two bad <laughs> children of his, who he apparently has no control over, flushed it down the ring, the toilet. 
So that was my reasoning for playing the video is the commenters Rich, oh, bro. is somewhat just really skewed on some of the comments that they make that Redditor Ken and Barbie threw a party and the rambunctious little nephews, Tommy and Fitzroy, come by and they play in the bedroom. And what should happen next? But the ring goes down the party. No, never mind. You know, I feel like Anna coming on. I love you, but I hate you, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -hmm. <laughs> How can you hate that face like that? <laughs> All right, let's just move on because y'all don't care about the plight of a $30,000 ring. Am I? I'm sorry. 